Hello beautiful souls. So I'm happy to say that this is the last review day. Yay! <laughs> I don't know about all of you, but I'm ready to move on to the regular lessons. So let's still, you know, enjoy the thoughts of today and truly apply them as they are phenomenal like all the rest. But uh, I'm glad to be moving forward. So I'm going to read the lesson for today, which is lesson 60. And uh, we'll go forward from there. So um, as we begin... The last final five thoughts. 46. God is the love in which I forgive. God does not forgive because he has never condemned. The blameless cannot blame. And those who have accepted their innocence see nothing to forgive. Yet forgiveness is the means by which I will recognize my innocence. It is the reflection of God's love on earth. It will bring me near enough to heaven that the love of God can reach down to me and raise me to my home. Hmm. I love this. God is the love in which I forgive. For when we call upon the love of God, it truly is a vision where we see the innocence as God created us to be instead of what we previously saw the person or ourself to be and therefore forgiveness is a tool and once we accept the whole and complete forgiven perception we realize bless you babe we realize that there really was nothing ever to forgive to begin with because we have never ever ever done anything wrong so this really trumps the entire idea of sin for now we are moving to the recognition that it is a simple mistake with the correction. And the correction is forgiveness. And in doing so, we remember that God is the love in which I forgive. And he loves us wholly, completely, and equally. No matter what we've done here in form. He doesn't even know what we've done here in form. He only knows us as we are. And to continue, number 47. God is the strength in which I trust. So no longer are we relying on our strength on our own, but we're relying on the strength of God. Big shift. Big, big, big shift. Oh, and that's the first thought. It is not my own strength through which I forgive. It is through the strength of God in me, which I am remembering as I forgive. As I begin to see, I recognize his reflection on earth. I forgive all things because I feel the stirring of his strength in me. And I begin to remember the love I chose to forget, but which has not forgotten me. <laughs> so we're being reminded here that God has never forgotten us. And it is his strength in us that forgives. And he has given us the Holy Spirit that reminds us of this love that offers us this forgiven perception and all we need do is say yes and as soon as we say yes and receive the forgiven perception in our mind we can look upon the world and see God everywhere because God is in all things so we now remember the truth about ourselves and forget the faulty misperceptions of ourselves and this is how we remember and know God continuing number 48 there is nothing to fear. How safe the world will look to me when I can see it. It will not look anything like what I imagine I see now. Everyone and everything I see will lean toward me to bless me. I will recognize in everyone my dearest friend. What could there be to fear in a world which I have forgiven and which has forgiven me? For when we recognize there's nothing to fear, we look beyond this world of fear to the kingdom. It is this kingdom that is the forgiven place that we recognize and see our forgiveness. And we realize that we have done nothing wrong and that there's nothing to fear because the world that we saw before was literally just the projection of the images that we have made. And so now there's nothing to fear. There is only love. And that leads us to the next thought that it is God's voice speaks to me all through the day. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. 
There is not a moment in which God's voice ceases to call on my forgiveness to save me. There is not a moment in which his voice fails to direct my thoughts, guide my actions, and lead my feet. I am walking steadily on toward truth. There is nowhere else I can go because God's voice is the only voice and the only guide that has been given to his son. I love this lesson because it reminds us of the Holy Spirit, the voice for God that resides within each and every single one of us. The Holy Spirit is our guide. It leads us. It shows us. It reminds us. And so all we need to do is listen to this voice of love that is present within us always for all eternity and let ourselves hear this voice speak to us throughout our days. All we need to do is ask. And the final thought, one of my favorite lessons, I am sustained by the love of God. As I listen to God's voice, I am sustained by his love. As I open my eyes, his love lights up the world for me to see. As I forgive, his love reminds me that his son is sinless. And as I look upon the world with the vision he gave me, I remember that I am his son. Definitely, guys. <laughs> Definitely. I remember that I am his son. So as we listen to God's voice, God's voice tells us that I am sustained by the love of God. And the instant we accept this thought as wholly true, we get to experience that it is so in our world. And this experience will bring to our mind our sinless nature, our innocence as God created us to be, and now we can remember and accept the truth that I am God's son. I am God's daughter and there's nothing that can harm me or affect me in any way because there's nothing to fear and there's only love to remember. So in this beautiful blessing of the five lessons, we've now completed our review, our first review. Yay! So to recap them for the day, God is the love in which I forgive. God is the strength in which I trust. There is nothing to fear. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. I am sustained by the love of God. And so it is, beautiful souls. Enjoy and have a blessed day. Bye.